2016 sucked. We can all agree on that. It took some of the best people. It took some people in my own personal life. However, we always have video games to get us through the dark ages. Here's top 10 upcoming video games in 2017. Let's see what we've got. Hello, beautiful geeks, and welcome to the Geek Fortress. Thank you so much for showing up today. You guys are the best, do not forget that. Today, we're gonna bring you the top 10 games that we cannot wait for 2017. Please keep in mind that this is based on what we've heard from developers, and some games, unfortunately, may get pushed back, or they may get pushed forward. So even though it's, as of right now, they're 2017, we may not get some of them until 2018, but as of right now, based on research and other stuff that I've read, we can expect the following games on 2017. So without any further ado, let's get right into it. Also, please keep in mind that there's like a million good games coming out, so it was really hard to make this compact. But that's part of the challenge and just to put 10 together. Ah, number 10. At good old number 10, we have the Crash Bandicoot Remaster Edition. That's gonna come out for the PS4. Before anybody gets mad at me because I put a number 10, keep in mind that this is a remaster and technically not a new game. So I decided to put it in the list just because everybody loves a good old Bandicoot. However, we're gonna give room to new games coming out as well. So number 10, Crash Bandicoot. It looks fantastic. Uh, we haven't really seen like a full demo of it just yet. But for everybody who's, play, who's played Crash Bandicoot and everybody who knows the franchise knows that it's gonna be awesome. I mean, just look at some of the screenshots. Crash Bandicoot Remaster to be announced for 2017 as of right now. At number nine, The Legend of Zelda Switch. So that is probably gonna be, hopefully, one of the release titles, or maybe a little after, for the new Nintendo Switch coming out in March. So as of right now, it's to be announced also for 2017. However, we do have high hopes that it's gonna come out on 2017, just because we love some Zelda. And that's the princess. Not the boy. Just look at the beautiful, majestic graphics that we have coming out for this. Our good old number ocho or eight. Whatever the heck that new Super Mario game is for the Wii, uh, not the Wii, excuse me, for the Nintendo Switch. We don't know what it is, but we saw it in the trailer. We saw how cool it looks. Check it out. Tell me you don't want to play that. I want to play that. Hell yeah! It's a Super Mario game, it's Nintendo, and based on what it looks, yeah, we're kind of seeing some 3D world with Super Mario 64 mixed into one, and that can only mean God. Can't wait for it. A good old number lucky seven. Insomniac's Spider-Man, yeah. I must admit that at first I was a little iffy, just because I don't like the new outfit that they made him with the red and then the white uh, Spider-Man symbols, but after seeing the gameplay and the reveal um, trailer uh, when Sony showed it, and by the way, Sony exclusive, so come to our side, Xbox users, we'll welcome you. It looks fantastic. Graphics, design. And there's something about open world New York City that's games such as uh, Spider-Man 2, Prototype, Web of Shadows, Prototype 2 have brought to us. 
I love to wander around in New York City. It's just fun. I love it. I love doing it in real life, but there's nothing better like going to the top of the Empire State Building and jumping down and seeing if you can shoot your web sometime. Ah, the rush. At number six. Coming out on January 24th, so right around the corner technically, about a month away, we have Resident Evil 7. I know what you guys are thinking, why number six? It looks so good, because I don't like what they're doing with it. They clearly saw the good thing that PT did before it was canceled, which was going to be a Silent Hill game, and they've clearly seen how Red Barrel's, um, <clears throat> excuse me, um, games such as Owl Outlast have been such a hit. First person shoot. So that's the reason why I do not like it. Just because they clearly saw a formula that works, they saw what people, and I know you guys are thinking that's smart, they see what works and then they copy it. But nah, Resident Evil is not first person. The last first person kind of game they had was not good. That was Resident Evil Survivor, this guy right here. I rushed to try to get it back when I was a kid. I actually just got this copy again recently for the original PS1. Just for collection purposes, but it wasn't good. I mean, it's not fair to compare those graphics to modern day graphics, but change my opinion, Capcom. Give me something amazing. It also doesn't help that some people cannot play first person games because they get dizzy. It's an actual thing, look it up. So you're alienating a lot of people. And number five, one, two, three, four, five. On February 28th, we have Horizon Zero Dawn coming out. And if you haven't seen it, or trailer for it, or anything, check all the descriptions for all the trailers. I will have the description down below. But just to show you some screenshots, this is what it looks like. You play as a female badass. I'm in. And you go around destroying things and it looks like an open world and you fight demons and robots and who the hell knows what those things are, but you fight them and you kick their ass. Come on. I love games with female characters as main characters. They're the best. Kudos to all girls out there. You guys deserve more. At number... Also still to be announced for 2017, but we're hoping it's in 2017. Tourney? I don't know what I was saying there. It's Overkill's The Walking Dead. That's right. Robert Kirkman announced that the company Overkill was going to make their own version of The Walking Dead. And after we got that other Walking Dead game that we should not speak of about Daryl and his brother, we deserve a good Walking Dead game based on the comic books not the tv show but the comic books and i don't know why you guys are thinking telltales has already done it with good old clementine and lee and all the good ones and i enjoy that game don't get me wrong it's one of the best games i've ever played i love the decision making i love the controllers i love the art style however i would like to see overkill's job on it because i know they would make it amazing and they would supersede all expectations and don't forget to check the trailer below in the link that i provided it's seriously it looks good We have made it to the top three, ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready? Number three. To be announced in 2017, hopefully comes out in 2017, ladies and gentlemen, we have Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. That is right. How long have we been waiting for another Marvel vs. Capcom? Since the last one came out. It's been a while. Over four years, I would say. So, who doesn't like to have Marvel characters go against Capcom characters? Or just against, you know, something of the same universe. 
Magneto versus Mega Man? Why not? Magneto would win. Sorry. But we cannot wait for it, because we love fighting games. We really cannot wait for fighting games. Which brings us to number two. Injustice 2. Also to be announced for 2017, you have a DC Comics roster. Supergirl, Superman, we have Blue Beetle now joining the club. Gorilla Grodd. They are going to be fighting each other on a storyline that follows what happened in the events of the first Injustice. And if you haven't played the first Injustice, do yourself a favor. Stop watching this video, pause it, get in your car, go to GameStop, get the game, come back, and say, oh, thank you, Lewis. All jokes aside, it's a fantastic game. And the comic book series that goes along with it, that shows you what led to those events, it's also fantastic. I highly recommend both. But in Justice 2, we're gonna have custom, uh, cus I can, I always have trouble saying that word. Customizable, cus customize, customize, cus customizable, customize, customizable parts. Customizable, ar you're gonna have armor that you're gonna be able to put on your Superman or your Supergirl or any character that you use. There, customizable. I hope that's a word. I have trouble saying some words, sue me. The moment we have been waiting for, what do we have at number one? What could it be? Again, please understand that it was so hard to make this list because there's so many good stuff coming out. But we had to pick a winner. And the winner is... <laughs> to be announced, but likely coming out in 2017, ladies and gentlemen. God of War 4. Cue the applause. There's nobody here. Kratos destroyed everybody in Olympus. Everybody. And in hell. And in the skies. And in the oceans. The end of God of War 3 is so ambiguous that you're like, what? I'm not gonna give you any spoilers. If you haven't played any of the God of War games, do it! Also post the game, go to game, so come stop, say thank you, Lewis. Do it! Sorry about that, I get excited about the games that I like. Now he's going for Norse Gods. If you guys haven't seen the trailer or the gameplay trailer, please check it out. But check out some of these screenshots. I know, I know, excuse me, I want to get in my DeLorean and go to the future where this game has already come out because I need it. Please come out in 2017, please. God, we had a horrible 2016. Hook us up. So what do you guys think of our top 10 upcoming games of 2017? I'm sure you guys don't like some of these and I'm sure some of you guys agree with me. Whatever your thoughts are, please place them below in the comments section. And if you guys enjoy the video, please like it, share it with your friends, share it on Facebook. Hashtag the Geek Fortress. We're trying to start trending. If you guys haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Oh, 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 right there, there you go. That's the subscribe pillow. It's my subscribe pillow, in case you guys haven't noticed. It's nice and fluffy. Don't forget to check out the Facebook group. All the descriptions are below. Follow me on Instagram, follow me on Twitter, and all that fun stuff. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget, leave your opinion. Maybe number six should have been number four. Number four should have been number nine. Number ten should have been number one. People love Crash. Why not? Just let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much, guys. Again, a million times. Thank you. You guys are awesome. Happy New Year. Happy Festivus for the rest of us, whoever. Thank you so much for watching. Stay awesome, guys. And geek on on the New Year. And every year. Louis out. Here at the Geek Forgers, we usually have, try to have some fun. We try to enjoy, you know, be goofy, it's what I do. But 
I want to come to you guys this time and I honestly want to wish you from the bottom of my heart an amazing and happy 2017. I know 2016 has been really, really bad. I, it's, it's hit me personally. Um, there's been death in the family. There's been death in the geeky culture. Uh, Carrie Fisher has passed, her mom. Um, and, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. So many people have passed away. And um, I just want to take this moment to just be serious for just a couple of minutes and uh, tell you guys that the best is yet to come. I know it's been hard, but good things are coming. And I seriously mean it. You guys are awesome. I wish you have an amazing 2017. I hope the end of 2016 leaves behind all the negative stuff, all the bad stuff. I hope all your dreams come true for 2017. And that's it. I really wish you guys the best. Thank you for watching. If you guys have been watching us this far, we have been on YouTube for about six months or so. No, maybe less. But that was the best part of my 2016. Having you guys having the opportunity to share these videos with you guys. Thank you so much, guys. You guys really are awesome. Don't forget to geek on. Bye -bye.